Jonathan Taylor has been one of the most talked about players during the past couple of years, and going into this season, he was the number one rated running back. We'll dive deep into his net worth, his love for New Jersey, and more. This is Jonathan Taylor's lifestyle. Jonathan Taylor was born on January 19, 1999 in Salem, New Jersey. His father, Jonathan James, was a professional basketball player for four years, and his mother, Elizabeth Taylor, have always been great supporters of Jonathan. Taylor grew up along with his four other brothers in New Jersey and went to Salem High School. During his teenage years, Jonathan accumulated 4,642 rushing yards and 51 touchdowns. In fact, he was awarded the Jim Henry Award for his impressive senior year. Aside from football, Taylor loved running track. During high school, he won two state medals in the 100 meters and had a personal best time of 10.49 seconds. The successful high school prospect attended the University of Wisconsin-Madison and continued his football career there. During this time, Taylor displayed outstanding skills and broke multiple records under his name. The NFL star is one of a few players who have reached more than 1,000 rushing yards in just seven games. When the 2020 NFL Draft came around, Jonathan was picked by the Indianapolis Colts and began his NFL career. Today, he's one of the most popular players in the league, and many fans are curious about his personal life. It just took a few minutes of going through Taylor's Instagram account for fans to find out that he's currently in a serious relationship with his girlfriend, Ayanna Chapman. Apparently, the couple have been seeing each other since their high school days. Taylor has posted about his girlfriend on social media on several different occasions. The first post he made with her was back in 2016 when they were going to prom. The photo showed the two young students dressed up and titled themselves Prom Prince and Princess. Like Jonathan, Ayanna was also into sports and used to be a hockey player throughout high school. For this reason, the couple connected quickly and fell in love. As per today, Ayanna's goal is to become a lawyer and is studying to get her bachelor's degree in political science at Ball State University. For now, the couple has not talked about getting married or having kids. Only time will tell what will happen with their life, but on the bright side, if they ever do decide to have a family, there won't be any financial worries. The professional footballer has a total worth of $2.6 million. His main source of income is obviously football contracts he signed since he entered the NFL. But the athlete also earns from his contracts with sponsors and brand endorsements. Taylor initially signed a four-year deal worth $7.8 million with the Colts back in 2020. This contract guaranteed him $4.21 million and a signing bonus of $3.2 million. In 2020, Taylor was paid a base salary of $600,000 and $4 million in total. As for 2021, he earned almost $1 million as a base salary. Sources say he'll be earning $1.3 million in 2023 and close to $1.6 million in 2024. Aside from his contracts, the running back has many brand deals. In 2021, Taylor announced his endorsement deal with Campbell's Chunky and Meyer stores. The athlete wrote on social media, thankful to partner with Campbell's Chunky and Meyer stores to help Second Helpings Indy on Giving Thursday with the donations of over 15,000 bowls of soup and $5,000 in Meyer food gift cards. Many families in central Indiana received a warm and delicious meal for the holiday season. Campbell's Chunky is a food and drink organization and Meyers is a Midwestern super center. For now, the player has not talked about the monetary values involved in those deals. His other endorsement is Topper's Pizza. Taylor frequently posts about the store on his social media accounts and promotes its menu. The NFL star also has a partnership with the famous chocolate company Snickers. He was part of their marketing strategy called Snickers Chain. Unfortunately, no monetary details about this partnership were revealed either. Even though he's now an NFL player and rising to fame, Jonathan Taylor has a massive appreciation for the place he comes from. This is mainly the reason why he partnered up with Campbell's Chunky and helped all those families. The athlete once told Fox News that Campbell's Chunky takes him back to his early childhood years. Taylor cherishes the nostalgia of feeling back in his kitchen with his family. The player uses his hometown as fuel for his career. Jonathan grew up in Salem, just about 44 miles from Philadelphia, and used to watch Donovan McNabb star in the commercials and lead the Eagles in the NFC East. 
Since he was an Eagles fan, Taylor said looking up to the star quarterback was inspiring for him. That, combined with the fact that Campbell's Chunky was founded in New Jersey, made his partnership make a whole lot of sense once he got to the NFL. Coming from New Jersey is something the athlete takes pride in. In fact, he once said during an interview, you can ask Diam, many times I'm always saying, yeah, that's a New Jersey thing. The place I come from is always coming out of my mouth or when I'm talking to him, and he knows it. It's like a feeling of pride that I have, not only myself, but there are a lot of other players, especially in the NFL, who are also from there and represent the state well. Now that you know all about the star running back, here are a few facts you might find interesting. Being only 5'11", 226 pounds, Jonathan relies on his speed, agility, and resistance. One of the methods that he used to improve these three attributes is by finishing his training with a cold weather plan. His cold weather workout was created by the fitness experts at Under Armour. In 2020, Taylor joined a group of Under Armour sponsored players to train in sub-zero temperatures. The Under Armour deal took the running back with a group to Mount Rainier National Park where they trained for four days. The group went through the grueling snow and icy hikes with extremely heavy backpacks. Plus, they went through meditation sessions and cold temperature breathing drills. Jonathan and the other members of the Under Armour Cold Weather Training Group also built ice caves for shelters. At first, the coaches at Wisconsin wanted the athlete to finish high school early and begin playing with the Badgers during spring practice. However, Jonathan turned down the opportunity to join the team. The running back's education was essential to him, and he wanted to complete the International Baccalaureate program at Salem High School before working on his college football career. Once he joined the team for its first scrimmage under the lights at Camp Randall, the NFL star scored a touchdown on his first carry playing with the number two offense. The coaches changed Taylor to the number one offense a few plays later, and the explosive athlete took a 70-yard screen pass for a touchdown. After that impressive performance, Jonathan was immediately named the Badger starting running back. Most people don't know this, but Taylor double majored in physics and astrophysics during college. The NFL player loved science and became interested in studying stars throughout his freshman year of high school. He wasn't only a top high school football player, Tyler was also a top student and a part of Salem's International Baccalaureate program. In fact, Yale was one of the universities Taylor got offers from before choosing Wisconsin. Who would have thought that the running back had the grades to succeed at an Ivy League school? Although Jonathan Taylor was very quick in every sense of the word, he became even faster once he joined the track team in 10th grade. During his junior and senior track years, the athlete won the 100 meters at the meet of champions. He was recognized as New Jersey's fastest kid in the state twice. Taylor ran the 100 meters in 10.61 seconds to capture the state title in 2016. The year after that, he ran the 100 meters in 10.63 seconds. The 2017 state title final was contested with a 2.5 mile per hour headwind. If you like this video, you'll surely enjoy our last one about C.D. Lamb's lifestyle. Now, do you think Jonathan Taylor will continue to shine as a running back in the NFL? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.